Hi, I'm Jenny Crow. Welcome back to the show. The city of Port St. Lucie is going orange throughout the month of September to help support the Treasure Coast Food Bank's Hunger Action Month. Amber Valangas is here with us today from the Treasure Coast Food Bank. She is the Chief Development and Marketing Officer with the Food Bank. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Can you tell us more about this Go Orange for Hunger campaign? Well, there is a lot to tell, and basically, um, Go Orange for Hunger and Hunger Action Month is actually a nationwide movement okay. that we are participating in. We are a Feeding America um, affiliated food bank, and Feeding America uh, uh, puts on Hunger Action Month every year in September using the color orange, which is nationally recognized as the color of hunger relief. Okay. Um, and people are asked to really just to get involved, and there's a variety of different ways in which they can do that. Everything from donating your social media status to donating money to wearing orange, as you can see, we're kind of wearing orange we're here today. Yes, absolutely. Um, and to participating in uh, virtual food drives or lighting up buildings orange. There's just a variety of different ways absolutely. that people can can get involved. And the Treasure Coast Food Bank has reached out to different municipalities and cities on the Treasure Coast, and, and Port St. Lucie highly supports this campaign we've we've put a team of you know several staff members together and we've had several meetings so far and we're really doing as much as we can just to show our support obviously wearing orange um, our city buildings will be lit orange city hall will definitely have an orange tint to it if you drive past at night the community center as well as the civic center so not only are we showing our support by wearing this color but also we've started a virtual food bank as well. Why are you really wanting people to do um, donate monetarily versus actual food? Well, with the virtual food drive, um, something that's interesting that a lot of people don't know is that when they donate a dollar to the food bank, um, that can actually provide seven meals. And I don't know about you, but when you go to the grocery store, you can't not, buy seven meals no. for a dollar. I don't think you can get a pack of gum <laughs> for a dollar. And the way that we're able to do that is um, the way that we source food. We have uh, partnerships with retailers. We um, have uh, local uh, community groups that do food drives for us. Mm -hmm. We are involved in opportunity buys. So we really have a very efficient model for sourcing food, okay. and that's how uh, one dollar can provide seven meals. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So I know several groups already have set up the virtual food banks. If anybody wants more information, everything on our website is linked to yours, which is stophunger.org. So if anybody goes to cityofpsl.com, you'll notice our website is orange. A lot of the headlines are orange. We've got an orange banner at the top, too, that also says, you know, help support this movement. You can donate or you can click here for more information. So it's a great way for everybody to get involved. We also have um, People can donate food as well. We'll have boxes set up at the city facilities, city hall again, community center, and the civic center. So if people, you know, prefer to donate actual food, they can do that as well. Absolutely, and it's so so important to bring awareness to this issue, especially in our area, because in St. Lucie County we have 48,000 uh, folks that really don't know where their next meal is coming from, and of that, 16,000 of those are children, and we're really, um, you know, at the forefront of uh, combating that issue. Uh, Treasure Coast Food Bank works with over 200 partner agencies wow. uh, to uh, feed people. So uh, again, stophunger.org is the place where you can find out more information. We're so pleased uh, to be partnering with uh, the city of Port St. Lucie. Mm -hmm. And I do have to say, you guys are really leading the charge um, and challenging the other municipalities to really get involved. That's I know great. the city of Fort Pierce is also jumping on board, the city of Felsmere, and we've got a variety of different social groups and uh, individuals that are just getting involved and mm -hmm. doing what they can to help. That's wonderful. How would you say this, it's getting better, it's getting worse? I mean, that just seems like such a large number. Well, we do know that the face of hunger has really changed. Uh, what we're seeing is that folks that uh, previously had, um, you know, middle of the range jobs, uh, after the economy kind of dropped out, mm -hmm. uh, we lost about 60% in jobs, and it's only recovered about 20% to date. Okay. Um, and of that recovery, 
Um, we're really seeing most of those jobs coming back in part-time, minimum wage, and people are just having a harder time supporting themselves, much less their family, on those type of wages. Right. Do families just contact you? How do you, how do you connect, I guess, with, with the people in need? Well, we do that through our partner agencies, and we also have uh, some direct-to-client uh, services as well, like our mobile pantries. But all of that information can be found on StopHunger.org or our Facebook page, okay. which is uh, TC Food Bank. Okay. We also are on Instagram, okay. um, and that's at TC Food Bank. So really, if you can find our website, you can find any information that you need. Absolutely, absolutely. And what area do you service, if you will? Well, we serve the four-county area, and that okay. includes um, Indian River, uh, St. Lucie, Okeechobee, and Martin Counties. Okay. So um, when you talk about how many people we're serving, we're serving 100,000 people each week. Oh my goodness. That That's, I just I can't get over those numbers. Well, like I said, it's just becoming harder and harder. People are just really making those hard decisions between do I buy my medication or do I have do something I to eat? Parents are, are realizing that, you know, they're giving the, the food to their children first because they may right. uh, they, they need the children to eat. Absolutely. So um, our partner agencies and the Treasure Coast Food Bank are there to really help them take away that barrier um, so that they can try and find uh, good jobs so that they can focus on other items rather than how to fill their belly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, that's great information. I know that you also have a, an action calendar that people can refer to. We do. Um, and we're calling it 30 Ways in 30 Days. Okay. And so that's basically, you can do something every day, something large, something small, mm -hmm. um, to bring awareness to hunger, to raise money, to um, just, just really participate. I saw that one of the days was um, you can donate pet food as well. That's right. What we find, particularly with um, like seniors and veterans, is that they really depend on their pets, um, and uh, their pets are a part of the family. It's very therapeutic for them to have a pet, and sometimes you'll find that uh, they'll go hungry in order to feed their to pet. Feed the so oh um, we do provide that service as well. We also um, are a diaper bank, so we partner with agencies that serve uh, new moms. Right. infants, children, because um, as we all know, diapers are well. extremely oh expensive. Oh gosh, that's wonderful. So That's great. Now, who do you have here? This well, gal. this is Kate. Okay, Kate. And Kate is really the embodiment of uh, the, the new face of hunger and the children in our community. And if you do go to our website or our Facebook page, you can find um, Kate's video that talks a little bit uh, about, um, you know, what the issue is with hunger right. and how the face of hunger has really changed. Right. So um, on our Facebook page, we actually have a version of Kate, um, a Hunger Action Month Kate, and okay. so she's a little bit more dressed up in orange. Okay, so I gotcha. So lots of fun. I got gotcha. you. But you're doing, you're really reaching out in so many different ways and really using social media. I know that you're also asking for pictures of folks wearing orange, showing their fighting hunger faces. I think you're going to get a lot of really good participation. Well, we've already started to see some of the photos come in and we're really excited about um, this social media campaign because uh, we are here to fight hunger and that hashtag is fighting hunger face you can use it on Twitter you can use it on Instagram you mm -hmm. can use it on Facebook and we're just asking people to be really creative with it That's great. Um, you know you can use filters you can wear something orange you can have a, a fighting face you can mm -hmm. have whatever kind of face you want or just even post something orange right. um, and also uh, donating your status um, we We've got some graphics available that people can just kind of grab and change their profile picture. Oh, that's great. Um, they can change, um, share things, right. and it's just a really great way to, to kind of get your foot in the door and get started that's with Hunger great. Action Month. And don't sponsors give donations Absolutely. as well? For well, based on the hashtag, we do have some generous sponsors that um, will donate $1 for each photo that's great. that is um, tagged with Fighting Hunger Face. Okay. Perfect, perfect. There's so many great ways to help um, participate in this great cause. The city of Port St. Lucie is selling the rubber bracelets that say fight hunger, go orange. Um, so those are available, those are for sale. Um, they're $3 at, again, City Hall, the Community Center, and the Civic Center. So please go on our website, go on stophunger.org, go anywhere you can, just really help support this cause. It's such a great, 
great cause and definitely these people are in such need and it's our neighbors I mean it's it's people right That's here. right it's our neighbors it's our grandparents it's our war heroes right. it's um, you know people that used to donate to the food bank and come volunteer are we now see them accessing services oh my. so again uh, things have really changed um, we do see some encouraging statistics um, year after year things do get better based on um, you know with our efforts and the efforts of right. our partner right. agencies but we still have a really long way to go yeah, but you are making a difference and it's wonderful to bring this this level of awareness to it so fantastic job I will let you get back I know you're very busy. <laughs> You'll have to come back afterwards and let us know, you know, really how it went this absolutely, month. We really appreciate absolutely. you being here. So Amber Valangas with Treasure Coast Food Bank, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. And we'll be right back after these messages.